New videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So after straightening my natural hair, I know you guys probably have a couple of questions about how I grew my hair so long. So in this video, we're going to be discussing how I grew my hair to waist length as a lazy natural. So the first thing I do to make sure that my hair is growing and thriving is deep conditioning deep conditioning is my holy grail favorite thing to do to make sure that my hair is at the rate that it should be growing we know that as black women with natural hair our hair dries out faster than other people's hair so making sure that my hair is moisturized is one of the key factors to keeping my hair long so I moisturize my hair and deep condition my hair once a week. So I do this every Sunday. Every Sunday, I pre-poo, detangle, shampoo, deep condition, and style my hair. And I make sure that when I'm doing these hairstyles, I do something that can last from one to two weeks so that I'm not manipulating my hair so much and I'm letting it rest. This also allows my hair to get adjusted to a schedule and so I can better know when my hair is feeling dry. If my hair feels dry during the one week to two weeks where I have my hair in a protective style, I will spritz my hair with some water to reactivate the product that I use to twist or braid my hair and then I'll add oil to my ends or throughout my hair depending on how my hair is feeling. In addition to protective styling and low manipulation, I also don't use any styling tools on my hair at all. So this means no brushes, no combs, none of that. I finger detangle my hair, which doesn't take long surprisingly for my hair length. It usually takes me about 20 minutes. I grab a conditioner with slip in it and I don't use any comb. This has really helped me out with length retention because I noticed that it's easy for my hair to grow, but just making sure that the hair that grows is healthy is the hard part. So yes, I never use combs or brushes, only when I'm straightening my hair, which comes about every three years. One thing that I've been doing lately to make sure that I have the best hair growth and I have the best length retention is switching up my parts. So something that I didn't notice that I was doing was I would split my hair down the middle and put braids in and I would keep those parts every time I did the braids. So I was putting not a lot of tension, but I was putting tension on the same parts of my hair continuously, which led to breakage. So if you're doing similar protective styles back to back make sure you switch up the parting so that the same parts of your hair aren't getting the same amount of tension every time a question that i do get asked a lot is what products do you use and the funny thing about being a lazy natural is i am a product minimalist i have one go-to conditioner a go-to deep conditioner a shampoo and an oil and that's all I use and I'll rotate I'm not a product junkie I don't feel the need to test out all the new products I just stick to the things that work for me and then I make sure that I don't buy new products until I'm running out of the products that I already have as a lazy natural you want to make sure that you're protecting your hair at night so make sure that you're not sleeping in cotton or Anything that will dry your hair out, you want to make sure that you have a silk scarf and, if possible, a silk bonnet. And if you really want to get fancy, you can buy a silk pillowcase. But make sure you're protecting your hair at night so that you preserve your nape and your edges. I don't know if many of my viewers know this, but I had severe heat damage because I was straightening my hair weekly with no heat protectant for years. And so one of the things that I make sure to do so that my hair grows as a lazy natural is avoid heat. 
it's pretty easy to do now that it's summertime and it's super hard to keep up with the natural hair that has been straightened but i avoid heat like the plague and i even sometimes get scared to blow dry my hair but when i do i just make sure i deep condition and use a good heat protectant so try to avoid heat as much as possible because it damages your hair from the inside and that's not something we want that's not going to help us retain length so try to avoid heat as much as possible please don't be influenced by other people telling you to wear your hair out more because people tell me that all the time christian do a braid out do a wash and go when in reality when your hair gets to a certain length you're not able to style your hair out as much because it's going to be rubbing up against your clothes which creates friction and breakage so if you're having this issue just ignore the people because it's your hair protective style as much as possible because you will be able to reap the benefits of all your hard work when you get to show off your length and it's just going to be an enjoyable time overall being a lazy natural is the best thing that you can do for your hair make sure your hair is moisturized do protective styles and leave it alone and watch it flourish i hope you guys enjoyed this video please let me know if you want to see more videos like this and i'll see you guys in the next one bye wait a minute so if you stay tuned through this whole video i know that you're a real one so i'm gonna give you an extra bonus tip that everybody that exited out of the video won't know about but you're special so you're gonna know so you want to do this porosity test you want to take this porosity test and then you'll find out whether you have low porosity normal porosity or high porosity hair and this will help you out on your journey so much it'll let you know information about how your hair retains moisture so that you can better care for it so i have low porosity hair which means it takes a while for my hair to soak up the moisture but once it does it can stay moisturized for a long period of time so please take this test it will help you out a lot on your journey so yeah thanks for watching this video bye for real this time